Hello and welcome to Security. Today I'll be continuing the Cybersecurity Home Lab project. And the next step is to power on the server and begin the installation of VMware SSI. And that's what I'll be doing right away. Okay, so I just turned on the server and I'm going to let it boot. And when it, when it gives me the option, I'm going to press F10. To go into like the life cycle controller where I can do the initial configuration. So I'm just gonna pause the video while it boots up. Okay, now I press on F10 to go into the life cycle controller, and we we'll just wait all, wait for it to boot into the life cycle controller. Now it says entering lifecycle controller. I'm just gonna stop the video and restart it when we are at the lifecycle controller. Okay, so now we are in the lifecycle controller and I'm going to go ahead now and do the initial configuration for the server. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and do the read configuration. So I select configure read, step one, I'm going to make sure the read controller is selected and I click on next. So depending on the number of hard disks you have, you, you, you have, um, the, there could be limitations to the read level you could select, but because I have four hard drives um, inserted into the server, I have the op option to do RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, or RAID 10. So I'm going to do RAID, select with RAID 10 and click on next. And now I'm just going to leave all these settings at the at default, then click on select all to select all my, fit my hard drives and click on next. Enter the disk name. I'm going to call it Home Lab Drive. Leave the other settings the way it is. And click on next. And now just review all the settings and click on finish. So it gives you a warning that everything on the on the disk are going to be lost and do you want to continue i click on yes and now it's going to start the read configuration this also takes some time so i'm just going to pause the video and restart when it's done okay now the read configuration is done and it says read successfully completed read operation and i click on okay and now i can go on I can go on OS deployments and I go to deploy OS. So and I have two options here to either configure RAID first or go directly to RAID deployment. I'll select on go directly to, to OS deployment because I have already done the RAID configuration and I click on next. So here I have a list of the available operating systems. I click on VMware EXSI, leave the boot mode on BIOS, I click on next. It says composing OS drivers. So now it says select the installation mode. I'll leave it as manual install. I click on next so it says select the inst installation me the os media for the os i want to install so yeah for this step you have to be sh sure if you're doing what i'm doing and you're installing it installing the os into another usb drive you have to be sure that this usb that you're selecting is the usb that contains the os 
that is the OS installation files, not the USB that you want the server to boot from, but the, o the USB that has the installation files for the OS. So yes, yeah, correct for me here, and I click on next. And now it says valid validating the operating system, and now I have to reboot the system. So now when it reboots, it should boot out of the bootable US USB drive. Okay, so now the server is rebooting and it should boot into the bootable USB drive now. I'm just going to pause, pause it and pull it up when we are at the bootable USB drive. Okay, so now it's loading up the EXSI installer, installer from the bootable USB drive. Okay, so this might take some time as well, so I'm just gonna pause the video again. So it says, Welcome to the VMware ESSI installation. And I press enter to continue. Press F11 to accept the end user license agreement. Scanning for devices. Okay, so now it says, Select the disks where you want to install the operating system so now you're going to select the second usb drive this is going to be the usb drive the server is going to boot from so I'm, i select it here i already had a vmware exsi on, on the hard drive but i'm just going to overwrite it and create a new one so that's what i select i just selected so it says select a keyboard layout, leave it at US default. You also enter a root password and enter it again to confirm. Enter to continue. And to confirm, install, press on F11. And now it's going to start the installation process. This takes a, uh, quite, quite a while, so I'm just going to pause the video again and start it up when it's done okay so now it's done installing and it says i should remove the installation media i remove that and when i click enter now to reboot it's going to boot off the second usb drive which is the the one where the operating system has been installed so now it's going to reboot the server and boot the operating system Pause the video again and put it up when it's done booting. Okay, now the ESSI is done booting and it's, it has gotten an IP address by DHCP. And the next step will be to go to that IP address using a computer on the same network and then I can do the VMware, the EXSI initial configuration. So thanks for watching and I'll be doing that in the next video.